Rodrigo Tamayo. Here we go. Alligator. Ta oh, tell me about know. the alligator. This is alligator number one. Uh, it's got a custom-made uh, bridge. All the brass is all uh, perfect rel uh, replicas of Jerry's. It's got a 1955 soft V neck. And you could tell the necks that are uh, they're walnut capped. You don't put the truss rod here. You put the truss uh, rod adjustment here, not there. That's how you can tell it's a 1955 neck. Here's alligator one. Here's alligator number two. Here's alligator number three on the way. Tell me about the wear marks. Uh, all these marks are... I looked at a photo of Jerry's and I uh, replicated all the scuffs, the stains from his strap... So uh, every time I make them, you see the stains, they're just as uh, accurate as I can make them. Now this is a Jerry Garcia Tiger I'm making. It's not quite the same wood as Jerry's or the same exact construction, but it's very close. The shape is, is the same. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I love these guitars. They have uh, active preamps in there. You would, that uses a 9-volt battery. Um, the stickers, the way they're cut, are worn exactly like Jerry's. You can see by the, the, the comparing these two, you see they're the same. The spikes, everything. Mm. Awesome. Uh, there's more guitars I've made in here. <laughs> I've made this, this Stratocaster, but I used a Fender neck. I made this uh, Tiger. Mm -hmm. Nice sticker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's mine. <laughs> I made this uh, Les Paul. Uh, see, it's a Tomeo. Yeah. It's not a Les Paul. It's Les R. Uh, Les R. And uh, I made that here in my shop. Wow. Uh, uh, painting the sun, the sunburst was the hardest thing. I made this guitar when I was uh, 19 or 20 out of two fenders that got water damaged. I saw them in half and made a double neck. This is a 1972 Fender Tele, and this is a 1981 Fender Bullet made in the USA. It says USA right there, so they're both American made. Uh, I put it together. Um, <laughs> yeah, all sorts of cool guitars mm -hmm. back here. Uh, Tiesco Del Rey's. This one I bought in Palm Springs Flea Market for $10. I've never seen one like it. It doesn't have a name on it, and I cannot find it on the internet. That Hoffner bass there, I bought that at Palm Springs for $20. No way. I repaired it. It's worth about $800. Did it have that... Did it have that neck on it? Yeah, it's it, that's a it's an actually a copy of Paul McCartney's bass. It's a 1969 Sears catalog bass. Wow. What about this thing? Tell me about that thing. Uh, that is a aluminum necked uh, Kramer. It's called the Kramer Duke. This one here is also an aluminum necked Kramer. It's got an aluminum neck. You see that? You see the aluminum? Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, it's an incredible guitar. Both those are Kramers. That that funny looking one and this one. Uh, I got... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got lots of stickers. <laughs> got lots of stickers. A lot of interesting <laughs> guitars here. Here's some fresh ones if you need some fresh ones. <laughs> we got a pocket full. This is our grow I'll channel. Take one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right anyway. Rodrigo, thank you, buddy. Yeah.